name is Erica Schnee and I will be the principal of Gallatin High when it opens next fall. Right now we're here to give you a virtual tour and give you a sense of what it will be like here at Gallatin High. My name is Todd Swinehart, I'm the director of facilities with Bolton Public Schools and as Erica mentioned we're standing out at the front entrance of Gallatin High School where construction began in March of 2018. Now it's October of 2019 and we're approximately 67% complete and um, we're definitely well on track to having the building open for a fall of 2020 students arrival. So welcome inside. Right now we're standing in the main commons which serves as the central hub of Gallatin High School. In front of me is the new auditorium and just to the other side is the main competition gym. We're standing in the hallway between the auditorium and the competition gym. Down the hall you have the band, orchestra, choir, and theater classrooms, as well as locker rooms, weight room, and two auxiliary gyms. Behind me is going to be the main admin and admissions area. And here in the commons will be the area, kind of a general hangout space for students. Right behind us will be a monument stair where students can sit and eat lunch, spend time together. Students will have lunch all in the commons on the first and second floor, though we do have open campus. The monument stair will be the two-story library. And to our left is the art and career and technical education wing. And then to our right and behind us is the three-story classroom building. And here we are in the arts and career and technical wing. Further down the hall is metals, woods, auto, and architecture and engineering. To our left are biomedical sciences and business classrooms. Behind us are family consumer science and the culinary arts kitchen and art classrooms including graphic design, photo, jewelry, and ceramics. And here we are in a model classroom. This room is just set up to give you a sense of what it would feel like to have 30 students in one of the average size classrooms. And here we are outside again. To my right, there is a 2,500 seat track and field stadium, in addition to eight new tennis courts and two new softball fields. There's plenty of other practice fields, and in addition, we have two large student parking lots, two faculty parking lots, and additional parking along Annie Street. So plenty of parking for everyone. <laughs> 